you become interested in cosmetic surgery? Well, you know, that's a question I get asked often by a lot of patients, and my story is a little bit unconventional. I was in high school and I had shadowed a craniofacial surgeon and I decided that that is what I wanted to do when I grew up. Mm -hmm. They do surgeries like cleft lip, cleft lip and palate repair and I thought that was just the neatest thing. And so I found out the best way to do that and what I was told is to go to dental school first, mm -hmm. then medical school, oral and maxillofacial surgery, general surgery, and then do a fellowship in craniofacial surgery. So I actually went about and did that and was going through the steps and it wasn't until about um, my second to last year when I was doing general surgery, and I had mentors talk to me. Now, prior to then, I'd gone on multiple missions trips and wow. really enjoyed it in third world countries, helping patients, and just it was so rewarding and wonderful. But at that second to last year, when it was time to start applying for fellowship programs, my mentor said, you know, Courtney, you love cosmetics and you're well suited for it. And cleft lip and palate, the averages in the U.S. are about one in six to 700. So it's really not that many, and they're producing way more craniofacial surgeons than there are patients in need here. The patients in need are really in third world countries still. So they said, why don't you go into something that you can have a lifestyle and then have the means to actually go and treat those patients who are in need? Because if you just did craniofacial, you'd get tied to an academic institution and not be busy enough in order to afford to go on these types of mission trips. So that's what I thought would be best, kind of the best of both worlds and being able to enjoy cosmetics, which in and of itself to me is both an art and a science, but then still be able to help treat the people in need by going on missions trips. That is awesome. Thank you.